So this power. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Trying to kick his James on the run here. Not sure if I can. Can I? Wow, James is going to try back. And because of Superman Thomas, he's got the strength, the power on that massive train. Completely incredible. Hello, my lovely YouTube audience. Yes, it's Thomas Mini's time again. I've been able to collect Wave 1. That's 1 to 18. Wave 2, which is 19 to 37. All beautiful. And I finally found boxes of Wave 3, which hopefully is 38 to 60. If you're not familiar with Thomas Minis, they are an amazing small Thomas and Friends toy which come in different sort of themes, but they also come in stock standard sort of looks as well. Uh, nevertheless, it's one of the best little small toys you can get. Metallic versions, oh yeah. And just stuff that looks ultra, ultra cool. Well, the Minis in there was Wave 2. I've already done a video about those. If you live in Australia, Thomas Minis come in boxes like this and I think the problem I'm starting to see is that basically wave one wave two and wave three to the average Joe Bloggs consumer uh, look all identical unless you know where to look wave one tended to have the serial number here stripped in on that white band wave two tended to have the serial number riding up high in the back here wave three is a little bit different we've got a different print on the front of the bag here the serial number has been moved to the back of the bag and it's right there. If you're going to try and collect the over 70 of these small toys, you need to understand this code. The last two numbers here will define what's inside the bag. I'm very keen to attempt to try and get the whole collection. Uh, I'm suffering a little bit of collector's burnout because there are just so many of these models. Remembering that's wave 3 there, wave 2 and wave 1. I think... Uh, Fisher Price Mattel are doing themselves a disservice for the fact that all this just looks like toy fog. There's no defining difference when you look at these of wave one, wave two, wave three. And personally, I'm only ever going to come in and collect them once I can get them in the box like this because uh, if you're lucky, you can pull off getting nearly the full set by getting a whole box. Uh, unfortunately, what I'm seeing in stores now, and I'll throw to some other footage is basically dump bins of these Thomas Minis and the dump bins, uh, well they empty out really fast. I wish I could put a time-lapse camera on this stuff because this is an extremely popular toy. Uh, I go to the shops a lot, I watch these bins and the stock just moves incredibly fast but the dump bins make it very very difficult to find all the numbers you need to collect the full series. Well this is the box of Wave 3. Uh, there is an order to these boxes. I have bought a number of them Okay, so I like to understand exactly how these are packed, and if we look at the numbers here, we'll start to see how organized these are packed. Well, there's 38, and we have 38 again. Uh, 39, 40, 41, 42, and it just goes on and on in a fairly nice order. So what I found to get all the numbers from Wave 3, I had to basically buy a whole untouched box and pick out some from another box that I was lucky to find and in the end I end up getting all the numbers here so there's doubles of 38 from what I sent in every box and that's a good one to have a double of 39, 40, blah 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 the one I had to pick out from another box was 49 and it goes on and on and on and the other one I had to pick out from another box was number 60 I'm going to show you something that I probably shouldn't show you. I'd like to explain. I buy all the toys that I show on my channel. I don't have stuff given to me by Fisher Price and Mattel uh, I'm a good person to hit up for some Thomas Minis. That's <laughs> sort of sad. This is all the Wave 1 stuff that I bought. I bought a whole ton of collected wheels as well to get the gold Thomas. People said to me that was incorporated in one of the Waves. Haven't seen it yet. Um, yeah, it just goes on and on. That's all Wave 1 there. Giant bag of it there. Giant box of it there. Uh, this is the stuff I bought for Wave 2 to do the video because I needed to understand how the boxing was done because we like to understand how the toys are delivered so it takes the pain out of collecting okay so who knows where this will end up probably be better off sending it to someone who really needs it <laughs> dear oh dear uh, that's the wave three there's one split out on the table so there's that's two three four five boxes of wave three that I bought that's another box of wave two and that is the box of wave one and I like to keep a whole pristine box uh, for the fact that I do like to show how each wave is delivered 
So anyone prepared to do some math at $3 a mini? How much minis do I have laying about here? Well, I've been sneaky. I slipped into a bag to get out this to show you. This is slightly different in Wave 3. This is the thing that tells you your collection and where you're going and what you haven't got and what you need. And maybe it's the flip side, which is the very, very different side. We've got the metallics there, but we've got these DC comic baby branders, as I call them. Uh, I'm not too keen on baby branding. Um, I was affected by that with Thunderbirds and Prince Planet. That's who's up on my channel on my front page. Baby branding, yes, it works. Uh, yes, it's sort of a little bit evil, and maybe I should do a special video about why I don't like it. We might not talk about those guys too much, but we like to talk about all these guys here when we come across them. Okay, this is actually bag 38. There's a bit of a printing going on the front there because it's probably bleeded through from the back of the bag 38. There's two 38s. It seems to be in every box. Blah, 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 blah. Who's it going to be, boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is Racer Thomas. It is completely and utterly spectacular. And because I'm so excited, I'm going to open the other bag 38. Oh, yeah, another one. Obviously, what's better than one Racer Thomas is having two of them. Yeah, and I've got a powertrain here. It's up on powertrain's track. I believe it works on this. Someone said to me, let's turn it on. And this is where the video goes. Epic fail. Oh, yeah, there they go. Go, Thomas, go. Woo! Look at them go. They look super. Oh, yeah, they look spectacular. Oh, it's great to put the Thomas Minis onto the powertrain track. It's a beautiful fit indeed. Uh, thank you to the YouTuber who suggested it to me. Wonderful work. Thomas p -p -p Power! Can't keep my eyes off them, Thomas Minis. Well, for the distraction of that, Thomas in the background of the powertrain, let's open up bag 39. Whoop, 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 whoo! Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be, everybody? It's gonna be! Oh my goodness me, it's Percy Dino! Spectacular! Oh, let's do something very special here. Let's connect Percy up here. Go! Thomas is going, Percy. Okay, here we go. Woo! Okay, this is looking ever so awesome. Look at Dino and Percy go and pull along the train. He's so powerful. Come on, Percy! Show us your stuff. Looking spectacular! Woo! Now, if this doesn't get you excited about Thomas Minis and powertrains, I don't know what is. Oh, I love it! I love it a lot! Woo! I can't keep my eyes off that, Percy! I'm excited, I'm excited. Let's open up bag 40. Bag 40. Wonder who it's gonna be? It's gonna be oh my goodness me! It's um James. Uh just James, James, uh James! Trying to introduce James on the run here, not sure if I can. Can I? Can I? Will it be the wreck? Whoa, it's a train wreck! Whoa! James has caused a train wreck! Okay, after a bit of law and order has entered the rail yard here, let's turn the power train on and let's see him go. Oh, hey, go James, go! Go James, go! Oh, I think the tender's uh, a bit off rails there. Oh, there we are, back on. This is looking completely awesome. Completely awesome. Oh, James, what's going on here? You're going backwards for some reason. Oh, no, he's getting steam. He's getting steam up now. He's going forwards. Just trying to get a nice beauty shot of James there. Go, James, go. Oh my goodness me, time to open another one. Number 41. Ooh, who's it gonna be, boys and girls? Can you guess? Can you guess? You probably already know because you've probably gone and watched someone else's video, haven't you? Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh my, oh my goodness me, it's chillin' Gordon. That is so, so hot, but not. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna try and just chillin' Gordon here without causing a train wreck. Oh no, that just crashed. And I'm blaming you, Dino Percy, for that crash. It was you! Okay, just restoring some law and order on this rail line here. Connecting in. Chillin' Gordon. Oh, stunning, isn't it? Okay, let's get the power train going. Go! Oh, whoa, oh, oh no! We just lost the Thomas there. We'll leave him off for a moment. Just get some shots of Chillin' Gordon. Go, Gordon, go! It looks stunning! Woo! And he's chugging along and pulling along the line. Beautiful to see. Well, there's always one, isn't there? There goes Gordon, it just looks so, so hot, but it's not. Okay, time to open another one, it's number 42, and I'm going to do it this very secret way. Hey, yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness me. 
It is Robo Edward. I believe that is Robo Edward. I'm talking like a robot now. Robo Edward. <laughs> Will I do it? Will I be able to pull it off and come in on the wheel spinning and connecting? And oh my goodness me, we've done it without having a rail set. Can you believe that? And Robo Edward looks absolutely stunning. Look at Edward go. Eat like a robot. Let's open up another bag with number 43, 43, 43 could be a really, really good number. You know why? Well, because, I don't know, I'm just talking because talking sounds sort of weird on YouTube, doesn't it? And it's going to be, oh my goodness me, it is old school salty. I love the old school version of these. It is beautiful. Once you take the color away, it looks oh so spectacular. I'm going to be daring here, I'm going to try and incorporate Salty into this line of trains. Will I be able to pull it off or will there be a train wreck? The Jeopardy is killing me. And it's going to be, oh my goodness me! Oh dear, oh dear! If it stayed in focus, it'd be nice. Oh no, there it is! There's a train wreck! There's a train wreck! Uh, somehow from that train carnage, uh, Salty is there, Salty is looking beautiful, Salty is looking very old school. Yeah, this will bring power trains back to life, won't it boys and girls? Woo, 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 woo. Okay, with the train carnage behind me, we're going to open up bag 44. Oh my goodness me, oh, look at that. Straight into the back, and it is Spencer. Plain old Spencer, just looking like Spencer. Hey, the old sea captain here, Salty Willie, except the higher class Spencer on the front. Whoa, yes! Quite an interesting look, looking a little bit monochrome and drab, but hey, looks pretty cool to me. Go, Spencer, go! Oh, this is fun, fun, fun. Well, it's another mini bag, isn't it? This is bag 45, 45, 45, and wave 3, 45. Who's gonna be, who's gonna be, who's it gonna be? Got the scissors out. Is it going to be exciting or is it going to be boring? Well, none of these are boring. Who's it going to be? Oh my goodness me, it's Henry. Is that Robo Henry? Am I seeing it right? Speaking like a dialect. Robo Henry looks completely awesome. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Well, now for the dead that will shot to try and get Robo Henry incorporated in this train here. Will I be able to pull it off? Will Spencer accept the Robo Henry on the front there? Whoa! Oh no, there's a train wreck. Whoa! Henry's got the train. Henry! No, he hasn't. Henry has not got the train. Maybe I'll come in and get all the boys and girls back onto this powertrain here and have a lot more fun. Oh, yeah. Okay, I hope I have this in the right order and I hope this works. It's going to be awesome if it does. These minis are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You'll want to buy them after you watch this video. Oh, yeah, and I think we've got it working here. Bit of hand powering there. All the secrets are given away. Getting up to the one I want to look at. There it is. Robo Henry, go, Robo Henry, go, and he is powerful, he's pulling the train along, it is beautiful to watch. Oh yeah, that Robo Henry, it is a very interesting looking model, that one. Uh, curious colours on the wheel there, very, very nice, and he's powerful, look at him go. Woo, 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 woo. Oh no, he's uh, running out of puff, I better open up a Thomas Mini to uh, get the powering along again. Oh, it's looking a bit dicey there, actually, Thomas is playing up. That says minis, uh, what comes out of here is going to be good, it is bag 46, bag 46, who's it going to be? Who is it going to be? I'll have to cheat here a bit, Diesel in, uh, is that Robo Mode? Oh my goodness me, Robo Mode Diesel, or is it a Hero? A hero, I think it's a Hero, uh, with jet engines um, on the top, on the sides, Hero Diesel, is that Hero? Hero Diesel? Amazing! It is spectacular! One of my favourites! Now I'm going to try and incorporate this beautiful Hero Diesel into this train line here. Uh, will I have much success? Got the wheels on and coupling up. Oh! Diesel is sort of on. Oh no! There's a train wreck. Complete another train wreck. I have to quiet down that air. I think I know who caused that accident. It was Racer Thomas here. He's got the huff up for the fact this absolutely beautiful 
hero looking diesel. I hope it's a hero thing. <laughs> if I'm wrong, you'll be screaming at me. But that is what the minis excel at when they have these variations that are just spectacular and so interesting to look at. Nice work. Let's try and get this train back on the rails, eh? Whoa! Go, power train, go! Well, I hope I got this on the right order here. I would like to give that beautiful diesel a spin. And away it goes. It might work. Oh, it's still working. Looks great. Looks amazing. There goes Diesel. He's certainly got the path to pull the train along. Okay, Diesel is showing his strength here. He is going around bounds and bounds here. He is certainly doing good. He's, in fact, he's, he's steaming. Look at him go. Go, Diesel, go. It says rockets. I'm sure about it. Rocket powered Diesel. You can't go wrong. Mind you, uh, Thomas there looks like he's in a bit of a squeeze. Okay, our next bag of Diesel doing such a good job in the background there. Bag number 47. And it is... Oh, Emily. Plain old Emily, but looks spectacular because Emily is a mini and the minis have some fantastic detailing. Yay for Emily. Well, i got to say, Diesel's doing such a good job here at pulling along this incredible train of minis. Can I incorporate Emily in on here before there is a train wreck? Will Devious Diesel want to have the girl up the front of this train? Any moment now, we're going to find out, aren't we, boys and girls? Oh, yeah. Oh, looks like Emily has been accepted. Diesel's off the rails a bit. Oh, no, there's a back of train wreck, and the power train has come off, and there's a giant mess up the back here. Oh, well... Who are we going to blame for that accident? Well, I'm going to blame Diesel here. I think he was the cause of that one. Well, hopefully I've established some law and order. I'm going to try and get this train running because it's going to look beautiful if it works. Okay. Oh, here we go. Emily's in charge here. Can we see Emily? There she is. Looking fine and dandy. Go, Emily, go. Has she got enough steam to pull the train along? Yes, she does. Well, hang on a second. She's running out of puff here. Maybe she needs Diesel's jet engine help to get her going. Is that going to help? Oh yeah, Devious Diesel is helping along. He's not such a mini after all. Go, Emily, go. There's a nice clean shot of Emily doing her best to pull the train along. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, with Emily in the background doing her finest. Girl power at its best. Who have we got next? If it's something... Oh, if it's a twin, I was going to say, I'm never going to know. Is it uh, Dash? Uh, Dash Racer? I hope I'm right there. It looks like Dash Racer. Beautiful blue flames. Almost forgot to say it. Racer Dash is bag 48. 48 for Racer Dash. Now, what are the chances of me getting Dash incorporated on this train on the front of Emily there? You think there's going to be a train wreck? I think I'll be able to pull it off. Whoa. Somehow I've got a Dash Racer on there and it looks beautiful. It looks more than beautiful. I can't think of a word to describe it, but I'm sure you can. Look at Dash go, go. And he's a racer, and because he's a racer, he's really fast. He's pulling that train along really easily. Oh, yeah, go, Dash, go. Looking really, really nice there. Again, uh, Thomas is looking a little bit cramped there, a little bit cramped. Well, it's time for another bag, isn't it? And it's bag 49. This is one that had to grab out of another box. I couldn't get it in with just one box. Maybe it's different where you live. Maybe you'll find it in your box. And it is... Uh, Paxton, I hope. Let me double check. Oh, yeah. Whew. Almost said another name then. I won't say who. Uh, Paxton. Looking very, very, well, Paxton-ish. In that sort of Paxton way. It's all about the right speed and coming in and just... The right sort of movement. I don't think I'm going to pull it off. Will I be able to save this? Whoa. Will I be able to get that one back on? I'm not cutting the camera. Whoa. Oh, Jeopardy abounds here. I'm going to have a second attempt. Sliding the wheels and connecting it up. And, whoa. It's sort of off the rails. Will I get it on the rails? Yes. Paxton is on after an epic battle there. And Paxton is powering. And that is looking completely awesome. Uh, I don't care what you say. I think it looks fantastic. That powertrain there is still chugging along. Thomas is looking a bit squeezy in there. He always seems to be threatening to want to just chew up and bounce off, but he's not. But hey, this moment's all about the character about to see on screen. It's Paxton there, and he looks completely awesome, even though he's just a plain old Paxton. Go, Paxton, go! Okay, the next mini's bag. Time for the next mini's bag. I'll do a cut. I'm trying to, you know, be different each time. I'm trying to mix it up. Don't know why. Could have just come in the back here, couldn't I? <laughs> and it's uh, Stephen. I hope it's Stephen. Stephen Dino. 
Oh yeah, the fossil has appeared in more ways than one. The old Stephen Dino. Oops, I've got the same. Well, Stephen Dino is uh, number 50. <laughs> now, if anything's going to cause a train wreck, it's going to be Stephen Dino. Uh, I've just got that feeling. Will I be able to incorporate this fossil into this line of trains? Jeopardy, Jeopardy, Jeopardy. Oh, my goodness me. It is. Oh, no. Uh-oh. It is a train wreck up the back here. It looks like Thomas is taking a jump. Uh, Dino Percy is being dragged along on his side there. I don't know how long that's going to last. That's a new way to drive your trains, I can tell you. Come on, something is good bound to happen any moment here. Oh, and there it goes. Okay, well, really, it's all about uh, this guy here. <laughs> Power train just fell off. Uh, choo -hoo! I told you we'd cause trouble. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of a cheat here. I put some blue tack in there because I saw that was causing trouble. Thomas wanted to be going sideways all the time. I think it will work now. Okay, and it's really all about Steven, so let's spin this round to Steven. Not about these other guys, we've already seen them. Okay, go, Dino Steven, go. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, and he's powerful. In fact, for an old fossil, he is incredibly powerful. Look at him go. Oh no, he's running out of path. Uh, the rocket needs a reboost. Maybe he needs to go talk to Diesel. I know he's covered in rockets. Let's open another bag. Continue on the madness. Oh, number 51. I wonder who's going to be number 51, boys and girls. Anyone's guess, eh? <laughs> it might be something beautiful. It might be something, well, it might be boring, I can tell you that. And it is Victor. It is just plain old Victor. But hey, plain old Victor well, looks, well, just like Victor. Nothing plain about that. Now, the big challenge here for me is to incorporate Victor in the front of uh, Dino Steven there. It's just getting the right speed and getting the right angle and dangle, and hopefully I've done it. And I, yes! Uh, plain old Victor is now there at the front of the train and powering him along, I hope. Go, Victor, go! Still working fine, yeah! Bring it on! Well, that's amazing. Uh, Victor's having no trouble pulling that train along. It looks beautiful. Wow, Victor, you're uh, quite a steam head by the look of it. Oh, yeah, time to wrap another bag. It is bag number 52. You can peek through the clearer part of these bags to sort of try and work out who's in there. That's if you've got good eyes. If you haven't, well, you're going to have to know the codes. No use finger feeling these. You can't really tell from finger feeling, can you? And it's going to be... Surprise, surprise, surprise! I... Old school scruff. Thank goodness the name is on the side there. Old school scruff, old school scruff. I love uh, the old school theme. Monochrome, uh, it does it for me. Take away the colours and you've got a brand new engine. Now I can tell you what, the weight on this little turntable here is actually uh, getting up there. Well, I'll be able to get scruff to talk to Victor. This is the uh, challenge here. Oh no, Victor, I think he speaks like this. Well, my friend, uh, I don't mind him coupling up to you because we're all part of the same team. And Scruff, old school Scruff, is connected to Victor. And it looks great. I mean, Scruff's face looks really nice. In fact, all the faces on these minis uh, are very, very good. And Scruff's doing all right, even though the powertrain's sort of powering this along. Maybe the battery's about to have it. It is a fair load on it now. Will I be able to squeeze one more onto the turntable? Let's do it. Oh, it's the excitement is killing me. Oh, remember Gloria? Gloria Choo Choo comes and visits me every now and then. Oh. Okay, uh, back 53 is one of the twins. It's Bill. It's Bill. Bill looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, Louie. Lots of people very pleased to see Bill coming out of the minis bag. Okay, the challenge now is to get Bill to talk to old school Scruff. I hope they're talking there. Victor doesn't seem to be complaining too much. We'll be able to incorporate Bill in here without the train going wreck. Oh, yeah. Bill is on there. Bill's looking fine and dandy, but does Bill have enough steam to pull the train along? Looks like he does. He's doing well. I've got to say, uh, Bill's doing it fine. Sort of. For a while. Now he's going backwards. Big time. Now i got a sneaky suspicion this train's about to die. Uh, the old power train here, uh, I think it's running out of steam. I might have to put a new battery in here to keep on going. Okay, I've taken these older Aldi batteries out. Uh, they were sort of dead. Listen, listen to it now. Woo! That is chugging! 
Okay, this might be a disaster. Whoa! With those new batteries, the train is powering! Oh, yeah! Now, that is certainly going to give me a challenge to incorporate more trains on this high-speed unit now. I bet you there's more train wrecks coming. Okay, the next bag. I don't know if you can hear me over that power train. Bag 54. Who's going to come out of 54, boys and girls? Anyone's guess? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, it could be. Oh, it is uh, Bert. hope I'm right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bert looks beautiful. I know that's win. And there be many people out there who are Bert fans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, there's a Thomas and Friends mystery going on here uh, now. I've had a bit of a close look at the series and what's going on. If you remember, Bert was in Wave 1. And the strange thing about this Bert, well, not so strange as maybe some, is that I had a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble finding Bert. I've only got... A few, in fact, I think it's a model I've got the least of in my hunt for these Thomas Minis. Now, here is another bird in Wave 3, and now that I look at this collector sheet here, well, there it is there. It's got black wheels and these colours, but it's under the neon. So this bird here is actually a neon bird, and if I line it up next to bird, or standard bird from Wave 1, um, there's not that much difference apart from the wheels and a bit of extra detailing across the top. Uh, sometimes, you know, neon probably works best when it's overdone, as it was with Toby. I think my son likes Toby. Uh, but that Bert there is probably, uh, well, I don't know, maybe it's hard to do up drab colours in neon. I think the wheels is the main difference there. Um... His yellow bits are, well, not that different to the other model, which has run away, because he can. And I think the printing error here uh, just causes more confusion and delay. Okay, this is actually going to be very tricky. Uh, this train is now moving very fast. Very, very fast. I'm going to try and get Bert in front of uh, Bill here. Will I be able to pull this off? It's all about timing. It's all about the right angle of the dangle. And Bert is powering. Look at him go. Woo! Go, Bert, go! It's actually making quite a lovely sound, all this uh, train stuff going along here. It's another bag. I hope I'm doing this in the right order. It is bag number 55. What mystery? Hit, hit, what mystery is going to come to this bag, eh? Snip, snip, already. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Who's going to come out of here? Apart from that. Oh, it's Luke. Blue Mountain Mystery! Blue Mountain Mystery! The secrets in the cave you want to hear the Blue Mountain Mystery! Blah, 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 blah. He looks fantastic! Okay, what are the chances of me getting uh, the Blue Mountain Mystery Luke incorporated in this very, very high speed dangerous trade? Gotta get to the front. Okay, there is Bert. Will I be able to pull this off? And, oh yeah. Luke is on there. Luke is looking absolutely spectacular. But does Luke have the steam to pull his train along? That's the next question. For some reason, Luke is going backwards there. Why? Come on, Luke. Get your chuggers up. There he comes. He's just turned on the steam. He's going to go flying past us any moment now. Go, Luke, go. There'll be many Luke fans out there very happy to see him in the series. Oh, I don't know what's happening to Thomas there. He is looking like he's uh, riling up again. He could be the troublemaker. He could be the troublemaker again. Go, minis. They look great, don't they? Bubbling along at that power train track. It really suits them well, I can tell you. Pull out another bag. Uh, this one is number 50 suits. 56. 56 could be very lucky, or it could be, well, they're all lucky, aren't they? There's no unlucky bags in the Thomas Minis, not that I've seen yet. And who's it going to be? It's going to be... Oh, mystery, isn't it? Oh, who do you think that is? What? Anyone going to have a guess? Ooh, it's nearly Halloween time. It is Porter Spooky. Oh, my goodness me. It is beautiful looking, this one, very, very do Oh, it's got fangs. Watch out, this one's a blood sucker. Very, very nice indeed for Halloween. Quite a spooky, I love it. 
Well, that time I'm going to try to incorporate this very, very spooky looking porter into this very, very crazy fast train. It looks like it's going to derail any moment. Will there be a train wreck at all up to me? How good or bad I am at getting spooky porter connected to the loop there? Can I pull this off? Oh, coming in and I'm coupling up and I've got spooky porter on there and he is absolutely stunning. Look at him go! Look at him go! He's doing his pulling the train along. Go, porter, go! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Well, it looks like to me, Porter's completely fanging it. Sorry for the pun. Okay, it's another bag in his bag. 57. Bag 57. Is this going to be a very important bag to remember, boys and girls? That is the question. I think you need to know all these numbers if you get these Thomas Minis in this style. Because you'll have your favourites... And if you don't know the numbers, well, you can't get your favourites again. Oh, my goodness me. It is Superman, Thomas and Tank. Thank goodness I'm a Thomas and Tank collector. That is a completely awesome Thomas. Uh, one of my favourites. Mind you, I'm going to want to watch all the Superman films from now on. And I'm going to be baby brain from here on about Superman, aren't I? Now the question is, if this goes AWOL and there's a train wreck, who's going to save him? It won't be Superman Thomas because he would have been the one that caused it. Can I get Superman Thomas onto this very, very strange looking train? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to be brave. Oh yeah, go Superman Thomas. It looks beautiful. Completely amazing. And because of Superman Thomas, he's got the strength and power on that massive train. Completely incredible. What do you think? This is awesome. It is awesome, isn't it? Look, my son hasn't seen these before. Uh, he's looking at that and he's thinking, yes, yes, yes. I'm about to get into bag 58. And uh, maybe we'll get you to open up bag 58. Do you want to open bag 58 and yeah. get your reaction? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is uh, just double check bag 58. Yeah. Okay, open her up. Who is it going to be? I can't open it. You can open it. Come on. Here, open it up. Just open it back there. Oh. 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 Who is it? It's Joker Diesel 10. Do you like it? Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Joker Diesel. Oh, my goodness me. Keep looking at him. Oh, my God. It is completely amazing, that one. I've never seen him before. Like that? Yeah. yeah. Do you like the Joker? Yeah. Do you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The sick clown has entered the building. That is completely and utterly awesome, that one. Now, that could be... That could be one of my all-time favourites. I'm a bit of a Diesel 2 fan. And he is a sick clown at the best of times. He is completely twisted and mental as a mini, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that's what the children love, these minis. Uh, my son I completely... Like, I like the paint job. You like? Yeah, so do I. I like the paint job as well. Let's try and incorporate him. Watch Daddy, watch Daddy do this onto the train here. Daddy's going to try. I'm going to go out doing any cuts here. Oh, the Superman Thomas there. Can I get the Joker to be in front of Superman Thomas there? Or is the Joker going to cause chaos as the Joker does? No, the Diesel 10 Joker is on there. Completely amazing! I can't talk highly enough about these Thomas Minis. That is absolutely incredible. I'm going closer. We're not going to do any cuts, are we, Mr. Edit Man? Looks totally awesome. Look at that. That is really, really eye-catching, that Thomas Mini. Oh, yeah. My son uh, is really enjoying looking at this. Really oh enjoying God. it. The robot ones? No, they're good, aren't they? Yeah, we're yeah. getting a good mix of the robot uh, Thomas Minis in this my, one. My favourite one, I really want that. Which one's your favourite? One. Steven. One and the two robots. Yeah, he likes the dinosaur Steven and the two robot guys. Yeah. Okay. It's complete eye candy for children, this stuff. Uh, they absolutely love it. I think uh, this toy here is easily going to be Toy of the Year uh, for 2015. Oh, it's just caused a train wreck. 
Oh no! Um, okay. Okay, uh, what? Did you just cause a train wreck? <laughs> yes! Good on you! Uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, causing confusion and delay. And I'll come in and try and uh, stop this. Oh, whew. Nice and quiet, isn't it? We've had that powertrain taking up all the audio. Uh, the next number we've got totally sidelined here is number 59. Uh, let's get into the bag 59. Let's open up 59. Yes. Whoa, good open. I like that. Come on, please. It is. Ooh, do you know that one? It will test no. for him. It'll be a test for me. <laughs> I think it's actually written underneath. It you is. Mean all the bad guys are clowns. Yeah, it's. I think it's Harlequin Mini. Yeah, yes. Millie, should I say? Yes. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know all the bad guys are clowns? The bad guys are clowns. Yes. Are clowns good or bad? Yeah. Uh, well, some, are clowns good or well, bad? Some, well, some of them are good, but some of them are bad. Yes. There we go. Uh, looks like we are train wreck. Do you want to get it back up here in front, running around on this? Do you want to see that? I do. I'm sure the audience does as well. I'll try and get this uh, Halifa Mini on there. Whoa. And I'm... Uh, there <laughs> What? Well, see, that's my son. He's causing confusion and delay. Harlequin Mini is in there. Oh, and there's a train wreck. Uh, Harlequin Mini is now uh, down here. This video is going sideways really fast. Let me show you Harlequin uh, Mini up close so you can see what's going on here. It's a very, very twisted sort of uh, t uh, Thomas toy, isn't it? I'm not that keen on the DC comic crossover. It's basically baby branding, and it's a little bit evil in my mind, but hey, maybe some people out there really enjoy it. So Harlequin Mini was bag 59. I've got one more bag to open here, which is bag 60. Would you like to just set up the train again, please? Put all the minis on here. It can be any order, any order you like, and we'll put uh, this bag 60 on next. What is this? Oh, there, that's the uh, cattle dog uh, for this There's wave There's something three. amazing in here, I guess. Oh my god, the show was the who superheroes are and the bad guys. Yeah, do you like that, do you? Well, why Spencer is a bad guy? He's meant to be a good guy. He's he's a train. Yeah, okay. Well, it looks like you like this. Uh, maybe people uh, really? know children really? like this. Yeah. Thomas is... Superman. Superman. Yeah. I really want, well, the only, and, Batman and, and Robin here is the ones I'm very curious about. I don't want to sound oh, too interested. Uh, like I said before, I'm not really that keen. I mean, the next thing we'll see is we'll see Star Wars Thomas the Tank crossover. I'm sure that's on the card. Like, I hope they make a Star Wars Yeah, one. TIE Fighter, you know, Diesel 10, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Star. Come on, set your train back up and uh, we'll get the last bag on there. And we're going a random order now, the way my son wants to put them on. Now look at this. What have you seen? This part is fixed. Yeah. Like that part. This is a Robo Henry. The yep. way you put it around, yes. it's broken. Oh, it is too. See, this is why my <laughs> son's very good at doing this, not me. Yeah, it's and opened look. up on that side, and on the other side, the road, this is Robo, it's fixed. Yeah. A devil is in the detail, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. We're getting there. Oh, I think uh, we've got the best, uh, more interesting selection in Wave 3. Uh, maybe you've got your say if you get it in Wave 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, maybe because of the Robo Factor. And I just think that Diesel 10 there, uh, to me that was a standout. But then I'm a bit of a Diesel 10 collector and fan. We're just it's, connecting up the trains. This is my own way. I know. We're just putting it up in it's the order the he likes. Way. Yes. Okay. Finish. We've got our last bag to open. The one we should have done first. <laughs> That's why I'll say bag 60. You've got the pleasure of opening bag 60. Okay. I'll get his reaction Ready, here. Ready, say go. 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 <sighs> go. And it is... Steve Spencer. Oh, what do you think of that one? Um, the face looks creepy, so bad. It is Cyborg, isn't it? Cyborg Spencer, let's show the audience. Let's make sure they see as well. Oh, wow. 
It's another one of those DC comic things uh, that is uh, very, very twisted and different. Yeah, it really opens up the whole uh, window of opportunity to have all sorts of different Thomas things going on, doesn't it? Is it going too far? That is the question. They say there'll be some Thomas fans freaking out when they see these, and we'll put this on the train, won't we? What? Yes, yeah, so and we'll try and get this train running. Okay, so it's almost, it's actually almost connected right up here. I hope I've got them all on here. Here we go. You ready? Set, go. And away it goes. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. It uh, looks totally awesome. We have to get the last bad guy. Yeah, see, yeah, this is we, the want now. It's happening. We, yes, we, we do, have to get the ones, don't we? They'll be hopefully yes. way We need to get more. all the bad guys, and we need to get all the good guys. So it looks like my son really likes this aspect to the collection. Do you like do you like those more than you like those? Um, you I like, like I like these two. Yeah, he likes the Robo ones. Even I. What do you do? You like these ones down here? These black and white ones, or don't you like those? Like I like those because they look like they're going to get a paint job. <laughs> they're going to get a paint job. Yeah. <laughs> they need a paint job when they're like that, don't they? And the rainbow to Toby. Yeah. I tell you what, I, like I don't think this is going full speed. Let me just turn this up to full speed. Whoa, there we go. Go, Thomas, go. Look at him go. And look at the trains go at full speed. It looks really, really, really super spectacular now. Go at full tilt. Oh, yeah. You kind of keep your eyes off them trains going round and round. Oh, yeah. There's the power train there. We're trying to spin it the other way, if we can. Look at me rock and rolly. This is now in the order that my son put them on the turntable. Sort of random order, but hey, that's the way he wanted to put them on. Tell me your favourite. Uh, I've certainly got my favourites. Uh, funnily enough, the DC comic ones do work. Uh, I've seen it. My son loves them. That Joker there, uh, lovely. Uh, really, there's just so much goodness. But even the hey. The old school I love as well, black and white monochrome. Yeah, the Robo series, excellent. Uh, really, you just cannot go wrong with the Thomas Mini. Excellent series, this one. Completely awesome. And in the middle there is a bit of a dancing uh, race for Thomas. It's going backwards. Yeah. I don't think my son seen me do this uh, turntable thing. It was actually Fujiko77, a Japanese YouTuber who had the trains on the turntable and made me think of, wow, I could do something to display the trains like that as well. And I found that different sorts of tracks, uh, different radiuses will fit onto this turntable here. But it's a great way to display the trains because you get them up and running and moving and that's what makes trains look totally awesome. Yeah! Oh no, uh oh, there's a train wreck. Uh, are you? Yeah, some are still on. Did you just cause a train wreck? Again? Yes or no? Um, yeah. I think we better say thanks for watching and... Bye for now! Whoa! That's what I call the turn. Uh... Ooh, this might get messy. Whoa! It's getting very... That's on the fail reel. Fail, fail, fail.